Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bass.com and in this video we are going to do the unboxing for the HTC Butterfly. This is also known as the HTC Droid DNA in US and it's a high-end Android phone by HTC and as you can see it says HTC Butterfly and it sports a 5-inch full HD screen and it sports a quad-core processor that's the S4 Pro and you can see the Indian pricing quoted here is 49,990 and I want to thank Faisal Communications for providing this unit for testing so let's quickly open the same and as you can see with most of the HTC phones we are getting Dropbox storage and here we get 25 GB of uh, cloud storage and the specs also are very good let me take out the handset itself and I have to say it's a beautiful handset and it's really slim Let's keep that to the side and let's quickly see what else do we get in the box. Uh, standard literature, I won't go over that. And uh, we have this is a, what is a earphones. Again, uh, normal earphones, nothing special. We have the charger. Again, it's a HTC branded charger. And this is the micro USB cable. And let's look at the interesting thing. That's the handset itself. And I have to say the handset looks really good. And it's very slim. The thing is that and the build quality also looks really good. And it's both a 5-inch HD screen. Let's just quickly start it. We have the power button on over here. And another speciality of this phone is that this is again a waterproof model. And as you can see, it booted quickly. Actually, I had set it up uh, earlier. That's why it booted so quickly. And we just unlock the same. And we get the HTC Sense UI. And let's quickly look at the Android version that we get with this one. And I'll give you a physical overview quickly after that. And if we go to the software info, uh, it comes with the Android version 4.1.1, that's Jelly Bean and HTC Sense version 4. And let me just quickly give you a physical overview first. On the top, we have this uh, noise cancellation, secondary mic, 3.5 mm headphone jack, the nice power button. And you can open this flap and put the micro SD card and your uh, micro SIM here. On this end is the sleek volume rocker, nothing else on this side. On the bottom we have the hole for the microphone and this port opens to reveal the micro USB slot that will be used for charging and syncing. Again on this end, nothing. Moving towards the back we have an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash and this can also shoot video in full 1080p. HTC branding and at the bottom it says Beats Audio and we have a grill for the speaker phone. Again the back is kind of uh, rubber finish so it feels nice to hold. The front facing camera is a 2.1 megapixel and this can also do what you say uh, full HD uh, video recording at 1080p and we have the nice uh, uh, earpiece and HTC branding and we have all the sensors like proximity, ambient and we also have a small LED notification light over here and the gorgeous uh, 1080p display. Again it's a super LCD 3 display and as you can see it's pretty good actually. And we have three touch type capacitive buttons at the bottom that's back, this is home and this is the multitasking tray. The built-in storage is 16 gigs and as I said we can also add what do you say a micro SD card to expand the storage. And out of that 16 GB you roughly get about 11.3 uh, uh, GB or so for yourself and you can also add a micro SD card. We haven't added a micro SD card if you add it it will be shown here. So again, a very sleek handset and I also have my, what do you say, this is the Sony Xperia ZL. This also has a, uh, what do you say, 1080p screen. That's a 5 inch and as you can see, it's a little bit smaller compared to this one. But definitely in terms of slimness, the HTC Butterfly is a lot slimmer than this phone. And let's test some web browsing and my Wi-Fi is a little bit slow today. But let's just quickly go to our website that's tech to bus And again, if you notice, it loaded it fairly quickly, I would say. And the screen quality is, I would say, very good. Again, if you notice how quickly it uh, loaded the website. Let's try the pinch to zoom gesture. And again, it's very smooth, silky smooth, as you can see. Let's open up one of the stories. And I have a YouTube video embedded on this web page, so let's try to play it back. Again, my connection is a little bit slow today. Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech 2 and in this video we are going to compare the two 
contest Android phones by Sony, the Sony Xperia Z and the Zenith. Both the phones are very And as you can see, it could play that back without any issues. And also the speakerphone output is really good and it was very clear. So, and uh, again, so in terms of web browsing, you shouldn't have a problem with this phone. And these are the apps that are installed. HTC has added some apps. For example, Polaris Office is there, Notes app is there. We also have this mirror app. I think so it uses the front facing camera, yeah. And uh, we also have Twitter pre-installed. And this is the multitasking button. And this is how it shows you the recent apps that you are running. Again, the red uh, facing camera is an 8 megapixel shooter. Let's quickly test the same and let's fire up this camera app. And we do get this tap to focus functionality. It's focusing, but it's taking some time, I would say. Yeah, it focused now. And let's quickly look at that snap. And as you can see with the flash, it's very clear. I'll be doing a full uh, review for the camera performance so you can check out that video for more info. So that's it for now for this quick unboxing of this HTC Butterfly. Thank you. This is Ranjit from tech and I hope to see you in my next video.